Waldo, Wally, Walter. He's known by many names all across the world. Everyone has heard of Where's Waldo in one form or another. But have you ever stopped to think? Why? Why is everyone trying to find Waldo? Why is he always hiding in large crowds? What twisted, evil things did Waldo the Menace do to start this manhunt for himself across the world? Afternoon, son. Son, we're looking for the maniac. Have you seen this man? Oh, it's the maniac! Take him away! Take him away! <gasps> we will! I see him! Where is he, Patrick? At the intersection of Conch and Coral. That's where I am. He's right on top of me, but I can't see him. What's he doing? Uh, he's just standing there. Menacingly! As a US politician will probably say in the near future, today we're going to try to weaponize an AI to locate and destroy this menace at superhuman speed. First, we need to train an AI to find Waldo. How do we do this? Well, we just grab some data. In this case, images containing Waldo, give it to the computer, and the computer goes. Our next step would be to grab the trained AI, throw it in a JavaScript simulation slash game, and see if the AI can find and eliminate Waldo before I do. It is the classic man versus machine challenge. Will the AI beat the idiot human? Let's find out. Step 1. Borrow pre-labeled data from Saints on Kaggle and GitHub, and also manually label a bunch of your own Waldo images, questioning your sanity throughout the process. We have data, next we need to choose a model. We could try to train a convolutional neural network from scratch, but image recognition is popular enough that there are several pre-trained models out there that we could start from. I decided on using YOLO, which is a big fancy neural net that is pre-trained for the task of image detection. This idea of taking a pre-trained model and training it for a new use case with some of its pre-existing weights is called transfer learning. Let's download the pre-trained weights and start the training process. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for! After two weeks of training, the model was still failing to detect Waldo. At this point, I was ready to give up, but then, through sheer perseverance and reading through several GitHub threads, I was able to find out the reason as to why the model was failing. YOLO, the pre-trained model I started with, is very bad at detecting small things in an image. Waldo, in comparison to the overall image, is super tiny, and it's hard for the model to detect him if we feed the whole image as input. Instead, what we do is split the whole image into tiles, then we train the network on these smaller label tiles where Waldo will be more visible to the AI for recognition. Waldo, you bastard! After coding this up and after several more hours of training, I now have a pretty decent Waldo detection AI. My God! Wow. Now we're going to quickly create the first iteration of our game where the player will race against the AI to find Waldo in the image. Wait a second, do I even remember JavaScript? Wow, look at that! After having to suffer through relearning modern front-end development, we now have a working game. The AI was able to beat me in the games I played against it, the main reason being I'm not very good. But Waldo was found within 3-4 to four seconds on most images by the AI, which I think would beat a majority of humans, so I would say our AI hitman is a success. If you enjoyed this video, you should consider subscribing to not miss out on any of my other videos. If you are interested in seeing how fast the AI is, you can play against the bot yourself. Link in the description to the game site.